Not once in the past three years did I see any competition, any competitor from Barbados. I did see some from Trinidad, Bahamas, Grenada, Dominica. So I ask you, where was Barbados? Especially as Barbados has a goal to be the, one of the leaders in the world in entrepreneurship. You cannot do entrepreneurship if you don't have it in the youth. And entrepreneurship is something that we, we can teach in schools. You're not born to be an entrepreneur. Some people may have more of an aptitude to be, but it is much more something that certainly can be, can be learned. It's like, if we don't have it in our culture, you really will never become a nation of entrepreneurs. Like we are a nation of, perhaps, cricketers. It's in the culture. You need to get it in the DNA of the youth. The Caribbean Innovation Challenge is based on a hemispheric competition that over the past seven years has benefited over 20,000 young people and supported the development of some 7,000 business proposals. The vast majority of them, after the program, created companies of their own, started out operations. I myself had the opportunity to participate in the last three Tech Americas in Peru, El Salvador, and Colombia. And I was able to witness hundreds of young people with lots of ideas and projects having developmental potential. This competition allows participants to show their product and ideas and exchange knowledge and experiences with many of the other young entrepreneurs from the Americas. They also get to meet large corporations that can offer advice at the, at the competition. And some of them actually go into partnerships with these young entrepreneurs and some maybe even buy their business. He said to me that one of his colleagues went to Togo, goes to Togo every year in a little village, a little village in Togo, and every year she goes, she goes into this street and buys a piece of art from a young entrepreneur there, a little kid selling art. This last year she went, when she got there, the kid comes up to her, <clears throat> he says, uh, and she noticed that the kid, who had never had a shirt before, had on a shirt, and didn't have on shoes before, but he had on a nice pair of shoes. He came up to her and he said to her, he said, Madame, you've been coming to me for the last several, several years buying a piece of art from me. He says, wouldn't it be a lot easier for you, and maybe even for me, if you would order it before you came? And then he said to her, he said, he says, Madame, if you have something special, why don't you take a photograph of it, download it, and send it to me? Whereupon the kid flips out his iPhone. Do, do, you, do you understand what that means? I think UNDP has finally got it right. We've developed a partnership with YABT, a partnership with our member countries to launch the Caribbean Innovation Challenge. And as my resident representative AI said, we are in the 21st century because we are participating in competitions and challenges. With this collaboration, CIC launches a regional entrepreneurship competition and a business startup program. And I'd really like to tell Ambassador to, to have hope because I participated yesterday in the mini business uh, uh, session and many Barbadian businesses and concepts were developed there. I saw a lot of energy, a lot of dynamic, and a lot of new ideas. So I think we're well on the road to fostering Barbadian businesses going Take advantage global. of the resources that are before you. It's a phenomenal opportunity. Although we are not predominantly uh, you know, disposed to thinking of entrepreneurship, we are taught to go to school, get a good education, and get a good job. We are not taught to be business people. We are not taught to manage our own enterprises. This is a call to you. I know it's scary domain, it's uncharted waters, but the Caribbean Innovation Challenge is there to hold your hand and take you through the process. Come on board at this point in time. Thank you so I much. I would say for me, the experience was phenomenal. As a young person, having been able to be exposed to online resources, having gone through the process of preparing my business plan, going to Peru as a finalist, so I remember Ambassador from Peru, and so presenting 
before the panel and having an international expo booth, getting networking, visibility. It allows us, therefore, to get that type of confidence and exposure. And so I want to encourage all young people to get on board at this point in time. It has also helped me professionally now that I'm managing a national training program for young people who have a degree in agriculture and agribusiness at Trinidad. And I've been able to bring that experience into our local context. And for this, I'm truly grateful to YABT and TIC for this opportunity. So the competition has two phases. The, fa the first phase is online. All the first process uh, is a virtual uh, platform where young people start with enthusiastic ideas. Uh, just by registering a concept paper or a concept idea. These small steps will grant the young entrepreneurs access to a platform, a wide platform of collaboration. They will have the bootcamp. The bootcamp is the business opportunity online training and is composed of webinars, resources, online mentoring, connections, etc. What's the objective of the bootcamp? To help transform that business idea into a project business, into a project plan. And mentors like yourselves and people, uh, the institutions that you represent today in the audience, you can come on board and become not only uh, partners, but also you can support these young entrepreneurs in the process in order for them to, to submit the following deliverables. A project plan, a virtual presence. It's very important nowadays to have a virtual presence. We're not asking a website, but it can be a website, but also a, a, a a Facebook group or a blog, etc. Also, a graphic presentation of your business plan. It can be a collage of promotional photos, it can be a video, etc. It can be even a cartoon. Sometimes young people are so creative that we don't want to, to just keep boundaries in their creativity. Okay, so after this process, registrations will close in December 2012 and the online evaluation process begins. This means a pool of experts, international people and professionals who are uh, experienced in the, terms, in the arena of entrepreneurship, they come on board and evaluate the business plans. And then they select the 20 finalists, like in the Olympics, we have the finals. And in the finals, we're gonna have the top 20 young entrepreneurs from the Caribbean presenting live in an on-site event where they are going to have a, a small booth, not so small, a booth, and in a big exhibition, and they're going to have another part of their business development evaluated, how they present themselves, the elevator pitch, other components of the competition, in order for, for the judges to select the six winners. In a region where 60% of the population is under 30, and in which youth are affected by high levels of unemployment, violence, and others, <laughs> investing in youth is not only about opportunity, but also about need. That is why, based on the findings of the CARICOM Youth Commission report, I on the Future Investing in Youth uh, Now for Tomorrow's Community, the United Nations Development Program of Regional Office in Barbados and the OECS engaged in a project that fosters human development among youth by enhancing opportunities and by addressing challenges. We provide to our main and targeted clients, farmers, within rural areas, food security implementation strategies and livelihood development techniques, whether volunteering or not. The road is rough, filled with many deep economic and decision potholes, but we have been able to gain substantial experience from the YLET program, thereby improving our management and our time skills, delivering effectively to our clients with the end goal focused on network resilience, partnership, great responsibility, and good stewards. The UNDP and the YABT Managing Committee will diligently support us, or you, through a dynamic and an effective approach to accomplish our goals for the CIC program from my experience through the TIC program. To prospective entrepreneurs and other innovative and multi-talented youths of the Caribbean, the CIC program is an opportunity to help you develop your ideas and our ideas into reality. Register now.